I've had the had the experience yesterday of um, going with Kimberly Foster on a, an experience of forest therapy. And for someone like me, it wasn't dramatic because I'm outside all the time. I walk every morning for at least 20 minutes and I garden and I've told my family I'm addicted to fresh air. You know, it's what it's not just the walking, but there's something about being in communion with uh, the world as it is. And Howard was just speaking about um, letting the new come. Some of what's necessary is to let the old return, to realize that some of what has gotten in the way is the distortion of how things actually work. And in the forest therapy, one of the things she spoke to us about was the things that nature gives us without question. Um, a sense of groundedness, a sense of stability, centering. But one of the things, I wrote this word down and I, could, I, I know I'm not gonna pronounce it correctly. And you, I'll just call it a chemical. <laughs> But it's phytom, phyto, P H Y T O C I D E S, phytoncides, phytoncides, phytoncides. How do you say it? Phytocides. Phytocides. Thank you. I thought there was an N in there. That's why I kept getting confused. Phytocides is a, a chemical given off by plants that actually affects the um, internal atmosphere of a human being's body. It lowers your cortisol levels. It increases your white blood cell count and lowers your blood pressure. And it has an effect just because you're breathing in these chemicals that are naturally around you all the time. It can increase if you like take a couple pine needles and crush them up and you get to smell it more than you would if you just walked by the tree. But the provision, the gift, um, your needs are being met without you even being asked. This is just coming coming to you. The, um, the other piece of research that I looked up yesterday was the power of giving. Volunteering, giving of your time, lowers your risk of dying more than exercising three times a week and equal to quitting smoking. The power of giving allows life current to move through you in, in a way that if you don't, it won't. And so we've been speaking about needs and people thinking they have needs that are unfulfilled. Presumed, presumed need, what's, what's the word you use? Not presumed needs, perceived. perceived, perceived needs. As most of you know, if you watch any television at all, there is at least five commercials in a row that'll tell you something you need to be happy. Even if you don't have diabetes, you want that drug. <laughs> because not only do you now have a community who loves you, you have barbecues outside and you know how to play cornhole. I mean, it's there's a way in which they market your happiness to like, maybe someday I'll get diabetes too. And I can have that drug. It's true of um, getting a new car, drinking Coca-Cola, and um, that's one of the reasons they took off cig cigarette smoking ads was because it made young people think if they start smoking, they'd be happy. But this experience of needs, I need thee, Lord, I need thee. I need to be centered and remember the presence within so that I vibrationally, my vision is straight, my thinking is straight, and my heart is straight. Because when I say I need I need to be focused on what it is that is mine to give because all the people in my world have needs that only I can fill. And that's true for you too. The pouring out of my blessing will fulfill needs that I don't even see. After, um, at the end of the service we did in this morning for the Northeast, there was a gentleman who gave a response and he said, there's really only three answers to prayer if you're praying to something outside yourself. He said, the first answer is yes. The second answer you might get is not yet. And the third one might be, I had so much better idea planned for you. So while 
he was joking about praying to something outside himself, not joking, but he was referring to that. The fact is when we open up, um, we often get a yes or just hold on and wait. But the other thing is there's so much I've planned for you that, that you can give to this world that will change it, bringing it back to balance and wonder.